So this YouTuber is one of the biggest scammers on YouTube. I'm not kidding. This YouTuber's name is Atro Ball, and the profile picture is a ball. Okay, weird, right? So when you first start scrolling on this dude's channel, you can see a bunch of videos with him holding a ball. Sometimes he has red balls, sometimes he has yellow balls, uh, sometimes he even has blue balls. But you're probably wondering, how is this guy a scammer? Look at this video. It says, okay, basketball jumps higher? Let's see. So nope. he dropped a basketball. basketball is nowhere near okay. Ball, so jump over 1, meters in the sky. this ball can jump 1,000 meters in the sky. This Atro ball. So it seems like the person who's controlling this Atro ball YouTube channel is trying to say sell this Atro ball and they're saying that it can bounce a thousand meters into the sky. Okay. He compared this Atro ball to a soccer ball. He dropped the soccer ball. It didn't bounce very high. This Atro ball seems like a super cool bouncy ball. Let's watch this video. So he's dribbling the ball and look at how high it goes, right? That seems kind of cool. This is a ball that bounces super high in the sky. Cool, right? Let me show you the first reason why he's a scammer. Watch this video. I have already demonstrated multiple times that the tennis ball is not near our ball. Did you see that though? Look, he drops the ball demonstrated multiple and it comes right back to him. Wait, this ball is like a robot? This ball, if you drop it, it comes back to you. If you throw the ball off the wall, it'll bounce right back to you. So this, this ball is smart? No, if you were smart, you would realize that this video is reversed. Watch his feet. You see that? Do you see how it was reversed? The ball doesn't actually come back to you when you drop it. You just reverse the video to make it look like it goes perfectly. You're lying. But it doesn't end there, bro. This channel has so much cap. Watch this video. Look. It is not reversed. It's not reversed. Yes, See, it is. We create That's so obvious. Look at this. It's literally obvious. If you're like a little kid and you support this person, let me show you another clip. We That's so... It's, like no, it's, not because it's so obviously reversed. It's reversed look at this. Bro, look. He goes... Okay, it's obvious that this guy's reversing his videos, but that doesn't really make him a scammer, right, DJ? He's not scamming people. Let me show you another reason why I think that this guy's a scammer. So, one of the things he talks about in a lot of his videos is that this ball can bounce super high in the air. If you bounce this ball, it goes a thousand meters in the air. That's what he says, right? Nah, bro, tennis ball like, look. Jump high. Come on, Boom, he... Tennis ball is nowhere near our he throws it so high in the air. It bounces so high, right? This looks like it's bouncing so high. Let me tell you a secret trick that he's doing. So whenever you're recording a video on your phone, I don't know if you like if you have an Android or a Google Pixel or like one of those tablets or whatever, Leapfrog tablet, it might not work. But when you go to your phone and you record a video, as you can see, there's three different buttons right here. One of them is the 0.5. One is the one point X or whatever, and then this one's two. These are zooms. So if I zoom in on the 0 0.5, you can actually see me. This is kind of cool. What the? Hi. If I go to the one, you can't really see me very well. If I go to the two, it zooms in. I mean, that's basic knowledge, right? Everybody knows that. Why can you see me? This is so weird. What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm weird. This guy is recording his videos in 0 0.05. It makes it look like it's farther away. Whenever he records with this 0.05, it looks like when he throws it, it's farther away because it's less zoomed in. This is a secret tactic that this guy uses to make this ball look like it's bouncing so much higher. But guess what? That's not all. In a lot of these videos that he's making, he's comparing this bouncy ball to like a basketball, or he's comparing the, the bouncy ball to a soccer ball, and he's dropping them off of this balcony. He's doing this to show people how bouncy this ball really is, but look at this. Watch this video right here. He's dropping the balls to see which one bounces higher. Did you realize how he had the bouncy ball in this hand and the basketball in this hand? He drops the basketball, but he throws the bouncy ball. He wants the bouncy ball to win because he's trying to sell this bouncy ball, obviously. If the bouncy ball is not as bouncy as the basketball, nobody would buy it because you're buying a bouncy ball for it to bounce, you know? So because of that, he takes this bouncy ball, chucks it on the ground, probably puts a hole in the ground on how hard he threw it, and he drops the basketball. Bro, you're not slick. You are launching the freaking bouncy ball. You are hurting your arm throwing it that hard. It's so obvious. So in most of his videos, he's been telling people that this is the most bouncy ball ever and you can go get in. It's so much bouncier than a basketball, volleyball, all those things. But he says something else in his videos that kind of make me think that he's a scammer too. Look at this. Throw seven in a row. Okay. Throw seven in a row. So he's trying to tell people that if you bounce it, it comes right back to you every time.
So in this video, he shows him bouncing the ball seven times in a row and it comes right back to him. He wants people to think that, oh my gosh, this, this ball is like special. This ball is smart. This ball is robotic. If you throw the ball, it'll throw back to you. I have no friends, so I should buy this ball so I can actually finally have somebody to play catch with. I can play catch with myself. For all you people out there who don't have friends and you're lonely and you don't have anybody to play catch with, I'm sorry, but this ball doesn't bounce back to you. Sometimes it might. Sometimes it might not. That's the nature of a bouncy ball. I could sit here and bounce the ball like this and it would come back to me if I bounce it perfectly. But if I bounce it over here like this and I do it at an angle, it's gonna bounce over there. It's pretty obvious, bro. Any ball will bounce back to you if you do it right. Oh my gosh, this is actually funny. So I was watching one of his videos where he was showing that if you bounce the ball, it bounces right back to you. It's robotic, remember? Look at this. <laughs> This is so tennis fake. Can jump Look. Let's try your tennis ball. <laughs> Did you see that? Let me replay it. This dude's bouncing the ball, showing that it comes back right to your hand. Look at the car in the background. Jump higher. Let's try your tennis ball. Bro, did that car just drive and then put itself in reverse? No! This is reverse. That is insane, bro. So it's obvious that this guy is faking his videos. He's just trying to show off this ball that he's selling. Let's see how much he's charging for this ball. I mean, he's literally posted, what, 120 videos. He's got 35,000 subscribers posting about this ball over and over and over again. One of his most popular videos has 3.8 million views about this ball. So. He has a link to this ball in his channel uh, description. And no, this isn't a sponsored video. He's not paying me to do this at all. But right here, you can buy the ball right here. So let's let's go here. What the heck? So when I got to the website, it said page not found. At first, I thought he might have blocked me because he was mad at me. But then I realized I didn't even upload the video yet. How would he have known? I wanted to see how much this ball costs, but I couldn't. I tried to look around on his website and try to figure it out, but I wasn't able to find it. But guess what I did find? I went to Amazon and I typed in Atro Ball, because that was the name of his ball or whatever. And uh, the first thing that comes up is a Space Balls Extreme High Bouncing Ball, TikTok Pop Bouncy Space Ball, Rubber Bounce Ball, Sensory Ball. I don't know. This is $15.99 for one of these balls. They look very similar to the Atro Ball. If you go over here, you have a Space Balls Extreme High Bouncing Ball, Meteor Space Ball, two of these balls for $9.99. There's a ball right here that looks looks very similar. It's called Moon Ball. It's only $11 and there's a thousand reviews. If you scroll down farther, you see a bunch of these balls. Like everybody are selling these balls. There's a blue ball right here. A bunch of just balls. They're selling these on Amazon. But here's the thing. Look at these balls. So you can get a ball for $21 right here on Amazon, right? But guess what? If you go to this website called AliExpress, this is basically a website where you can buy a lot of things. I think these things are from China and like just random countries. They probably take like 30 years to get to you, but they're extremely cheap. It's kind of like Timu. Timu is very cheap products. But if you go to this website and you search up bouncy ball, you can find these same exact balls on here for 99 cents a ball. Look at this thing. It is 99 cents for one ball, or you can get three balls for $4. Let's say I wanted to buy, uh, let's click four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say I wanted to buy 25 of these balls and I add it to my cart. I could buy 25 orders of three of these balls for $100. So if I had 75 of these balls, I could sell each of them for $20 a piece because that's what people are doing on Amazon. 75 times 20, that's like $1,800 maybe and I only paid a hundred I got 70 balls for a hundred dollars and I sell them for 1800 but that's just for the people who are selling this ball on Amazon this atro ball dude I'm trying to go to his shop but once again like it says error 404 page not found maybe he doesn't accept people from the US but I'm pretty sure he's selling this ball for like 30 bucks I think I read a comment somewhere that said this ball was like $30 $30 per ball when he's paying 99 cents a ball Wow. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that he's actually scamming because that's just business. You buy things cheaper, you sell them for more. That's how you make money. Everybody does it. If you go to Walmart and you buy a gallon of milk for $5, that's not what Walmart paid for it. Walmart paid $3 to the freaking farmers or the factories and the factory paid the farmer $2. That's just how business works. You know, you get higher prices the farther you go down the line. But this dude's going to YouTube with it, talking about how this ball can bounce right back into your hands and how this ball can bounce a million feet in the air for only $30. Get a very smart, awesome ball. When you go to freaking AliExpress, you see you can get one of these balls for 99 cents. It seems like a cool ball, but like, bro, it's obvious you're lying. If any of you want to get one of these bouncy balls, like if you really want to, go to AliExpress. It's 99 cents for a ball. Don't go to this dude's website and pay $40. I'm just trying to save you some money and save you from these bad YouTubers. If you want to see another video I made looking at another stupid YouTuber, click this video right here or click right here to unsubscribe for my stupid channel.
Peace.